Okay, so uh, one thing about reflection I just wanted to discuss about um, is the concept of the Fresnel effect. And this effect is important when we're compositing because we need to know how reflective things need to be um, if we're compositing different things. So if uh, let me just write it out. It's spelt like this. Uh, it's spelt like that, but it's actually pronounced Fresnel. Uh, and this effect is, I can show it pretty simply. I've actually taken a video here of a puddle near where we uh, composited our car. And if you notice, the reflection is almost white here. It's, it's very, very reflective. So what you need to know about the Fresnel uh, effect is that if you're at more of a glancing angle to a reflective surface, it's going to appear more reflective than if you're looking at it straight on. So if you're looking at this puddle, it's very, very reflective. It's almost white. However, if we were looking straight down at it, it would be almost not reflective. It would be a dark reflection. And if you don't believe me, uh, I did walk forward here, and you'll see that the reflection reduces as we look straight down at it. So the more of a glancing angle and the lower we are to that reflection, the more reflective it becomes. And this is the same for you know the side of a car surface. If we're looking straight at a car, and uh, it might be a little bit less, refle uh, less reflective than if we're looking at it from, let's say, standing behind the car and looking at the side of a car. Uh, so that's something you need to understand about reflections. So if you watch here, you see it's a little bit it's darker, there's less reflection, and as we lower the camera, it becomes more reflective. Uh, and you can Google, you know, there's all physics diagrams and all kinds of stuff you can Google. If you Google the Fresnel uh, effect, there's like an in, entire videos, you know, 20 minute videos explaining this effect. But that's pretty much all you need to really understand to composite. It's just that, you know, more of a glancing angle, a stronger reflection. Uh, the other concept you need to understand is specular versus reflection. So if you've done CG, you already understand this. Um, but you know, some people here have no CG background, which is fine. Some I know a lot of compositors actually who don't know how to do any 3D modeling or anything like that. You don't necessarily have to. I think it's a good supplement, and I actually do those things on my free time. But it's it's not a requirement. Um, but you know, I, I would recommend learning a little bit of 3D and some basic lighting and stuff like that. But uh, I just want to explain a very simple concept in lighting that is specular versus reflection. So. In this puddle, all these little white things we're talking about, you know, that is all um, just one reflection. You know, in the real world, there's only reflection. There's no specular and reflection. Um, but in CG world, we're, we, we do separate those terms. We say, oh, look at the specular and look at the reflection. The specular would be these brighter uh, ripples that you see. So there's some specular highlights. So it's basically just little highlights on the reflection. That's what a specular reflection is. So we can see those little highlights. And then the, the broader reflection would just be a nor the normal reflection. So if we're saying, hey, we want to increase the spec, uh, which is the sh short for specular, we want to increase the spec in this area, uh, we want to increase the specular in this area, it just means bring up the little details, the little white highlights uh, in the reflection. So that's uh, spec and reflection, and a little bit about the Fresnel effect. Uh, again, you can see the Fresnel effect here uh, just with the footage of waves. So some of these, uh, some of this is shadow, but it's also, you know, the fact that you know the, the the surface of the wave here is facing us, but then the top of the wave is facing. It's more flat. It's more at a glancing angle, so it's more reflective than the front of the surface, and that's just the reflection. You know, there might be a bit of shadow. It's hard to know exactly with this, but more, more, uh, more likely than not, it's actually just the Fresnel effect. That's why you see these darker areas and the brighter areas. So we're gonna have to deal with that on our car because we have uh, windows facing in different directions. Um, yeah, so I filmed this puddle standing outside like a weird person for you guys. So you gotta, you guys gotta appreciate that. <laughs> uh, and and these are uh, these are from Wellington, New Zealand. So that's where I'm uh, making this project. So we can move on to the next project, uh, next lecture here.